Now, when you have natural law, nature's God entitled certain things such as mothers over child, this is simply to see either a man backs this or he deceives. It is not hard to figure out who is who and what is what. They're just playing you for games and, well, just treating your children like sluts. They build prisons for them on the back end and play like there's no law. No law, no law, no law. Then why the fuck do you obey some law that takes children away and puts them in prisons against God's first command? If there's no fucking law, why are you telling kids to go fetch degrees, which is an idle law, a religion actually? Their high priests are degree-holding schemes, and they don't mind bending their kids' ass over every time just to obey. Look and see. It's the same thing as the Nazi regime, the Egypt scheme. They're bewitched and enchanted by the idols. They love them so much they will sacrifice their child. They will bring the righteous poor to a shameful, torturous death. This is what they conspire to do with the totems they make because they conspire that there's nothing after life. So they're just going to do what they want and kill even the wife. When you have mothers spreading legs for men that kill mothers to take their kids inside the bed of the mothers that they now sleep with their fathers, of taking the kid, you have complete, absolute ignorance. No one can overrule the mother, and every mother knows this. She's the one that's given it by God, she's the one that sheds blood, so any mother trying to support it is just giving herself away to the dumb goddamn shit that they say because she would prefer an idol over her kids. It's not surprising when daughters end up so ignorant that men beat them down so bad by the lies that they tell of God the Father who they say they're with by being with Christ. No, they're not. If they were, they would support the daughters and their value and not move it not once because God doesn't move it in Eden and it's never been moved down here. She's the daughter, she's blameless, and that's the way it goes. Now... Just like it said, your children will be broken off if you support such shit and they will go to hell. Your sons will die and you will live with this decision the rest of your life for choosing ignorance and idle shit over virtue and truth. And this is exactly what they do at your Gentile courts where there's no justice no more. It's a necessary evil that everybody must now suffer under because they would rather kill the mothers and the fathers. This is what the totems they leave for their idol schemes, they're idolaters, they can't be with Christ. They don't keep the commands, they don't support the mothers in her blood. He didn't lose one but the son of perdition, son, and he kept everyone that he ever received in love. Therefore, he's the covenanter, he covers the women, brings them blameless, check Revelation 2, 20 through 23. They're blaming women and taking babies from moms and building prisons for sons. They're not with God, they're a lie. They're the crowd that...